James Schramko here with my friend John Lint. John from 10xpro.io, how are you? Hey, everybody. Good to be back, James. How are you? I love our little chats. We're often making these videos talking about things that come up in our daily life. Um, mm -hmm. One thing that has sort of floated across my bow recently, that's a nautical term. That means the front of the boat. Of course, I know you know that, John. We spend so much time on a boat these days. Yeah. Is the change in the way that websites are built from the old way to the new way. And, you know, when I think back when I went online, it was just so hard. It was expensive. Like you paid $35,000 to some web designer. It would take a long time. You might get, you kind of like you'd pick one feature. You wanted either technically robust or good for SEO or beautiful, but they would never be all of those things. And they would usually be slow and expensive. So that's what big companies were paying. In fact, some companies like the one I work for, Mercedes-Benz, I remember once they got quoted like $20,000 for a one-page landing page that listed the dealer's names and phone numbers on it. This is 12 years ago, 13 years ago. Then I tried to learn how to build websites. And back then you had tools like FrontPage and Dreamweaver. It was very difficult. But then, of course, as you get some money coming in, your business is going well. You go and speak to a web developer or a designer, one of those two. If you've got a designer, you're sort of pro level, then you get your designer, they talk to you about your brief, they architect something amazing, then they give it to a coder and then you have to pay for someone to build it all out. So there's all these layers and then you get your SEO person to tune that and make sure it's all compliant and then you've got to find your hosting. I mean, I just got my hosting bill for last month, $1,300 for my website huh. on Amazon S3, right? It's not yeah. cheap. Designers cost thousands of dollars and they're great. You have to have good design. And I'm actually going to be doing a podcast with a designer, Greg Merrilies, mm. to talk about mm. how you can actually incorporate good design the new way of building a website. But we can actually get rid of all the middle part, the whole developer thing and the coding stuff if we want. So tell me about that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Also, you know, something to think about is that now we talked about the website itself, building it, all that. But when we think about uh, the old way of building an online business versus the new way of building an online business, because, yeah, you can have your pages and all that. But realistically, we need to do a lot more. Right. We need to build our email list. We need to be able to accept payments online. You might want to start doing some webinars. You might want to do some limited offers. You might want to start tagging people and segmenting them when they do specific things. And for that, the old way is to get this tool and that tool and then hire this person. Like you said, you end up with thousands of dollars, not only in cost in hosting, but also in suppliers, contractors that you need to hire and then extra tools that are going to be. Oh, and you have to try and make them talk to each other. Right? So that's when we went from just having a, a brochure website. Right, exactly. Right. So when we changed from just a brochure to like, okay, let's have a real business that allows us to do different things. Well, now we need this and that, like a page builder, like a shopping cart, an affiliate system, some automation plugins, a membership software, being able to send emails, all of that stuff. And that's something that a lot of people are stuck. They're stuck in the old way. And that's the reason why they're frustrated, stressed out, overwhelmed. They feel like they're working nonstop in their business, but yeah. nothing's happening. Like they're not getting the freedom that they want. They're not getting the lifestyle that they want. They feel like they just became a tech support person. They're in their computer or, nonstop. Or they become right? a blogger. Like right. they're busy, busy, busy. They're making all this content on their website, right. but they haven't even got a business model. No offer. Exactly. No way to monetize exactly. it. So they've got this all this great creative, high quality stuff that no one ever asked for. <laughs> or you know, they're interested in it, but they don't want to buy anything. Or you ask right. them what they want to buy, they tell you you make it and they don't buy it. Frustrating. Right. So mm -hmm. you got the old way of either the brochure site, the old way of this tech Frankenstein trying to Nightmare. push everything together. Or yeah. you got the old way of just content, content, content. It's fair to say these days, a smart way to do it, the way I'm doing it, is I'm putting quite a lot of my content out there on the social media, bringing people mm -hmm. back to my site where I have a conversion event of bringing yeah. people onto my email list. Yeah, That's the shortest exactly. path, isn't it? The new way, bring people yeah. from where they're at to convert them into a subscriber or a remarketing uh, possibility from your yeah. site. And then you can follow them up with the emails and ask them to buy something. And in your case, mm -hmm. with 10X Pro, You've got the conversion event happening on the page. Yeah. You can run them through any kind of different conversion event, whether it's a squeeze page, whether it's a multi-step 
choice quiz survey mm-hmm. type thing, whether it's a webinar, automated webinar, whether it's an automated countdown deadline type event. It integrates with whatever email supplier you're using if you use any of the major ones. And frankly, I wouldn't go with one that you don't support because they're yeah. probably not the right sort of supplier. Yeah. And then you can actually take the money all in this tool and it's all mm-hmm. hosted and everything. And you do all the backups. You do all the plugins. Yeah. You do all the stuff. So then the, the only real question is, can we still customize the way that it looks or do we have to mm-hmm. go with what's in the box? Yeah, of course. And, you know, we have something that we call the page builder and basically just use your mouse and you can customize things any way you want. You can get started fast. For example, you know, we have clients who are not very design oriented. So we do have templates and awesome designs. By the way, these are not just, oh, let's make some template. These are <laughs> templates that have been studied and that have been that a lot of people have used in the past in multiple different niches. They are proven to work. OK, yeah. So we have those type of templates. You can get started with them maybe change the colors, change the style, whatever. But if you want to then take it to the next level, and you talked about Greg, and if someone, for example, wants to hire Greg's company to do a custom design, you can absolutely do this with 10X Pro and using our tools. So then you can have like really crazy, awesome design if that's something that you want to do. But the most important part is that now in the new way, it's all about simplifying your processes. It's about not having to deal with all these different tools and getting you know stressed out about is something going to break today. Everything is managed. Everything's taken care of. You just need to make sure you do your the stuff that you're good at, creating the content, publishing, and then you know that everything is there at your fingertips whenever you need to. So you talked about building a list. Yeah, you build your list in multiple ways. You send them to an offer that converts. You talk about that all the time, James. And you're basically making an offer for your course or your membership site. You are accepting payments online. People get registered to the course or membership site automatically. They get their email. You don't have to worry about different things. Hmm. All of this is in one. And that's the new way of simplifying your online business. That way you can really do what you built your online business for, which is enjoying your time, spending time with family, getting leverage, and living the lifestyle that you desire. For me, that's all about freedom and getting things done that way. The main choice is, am I going to log in and move the buttons around and connect it up myself? Or am I going to hire someone to do that for me, either in my own team? Do I give them the logins? Like, that's what I've done. I've got my Mm -hmm. webmaster. She's used to building the very complicated sites and integrating all the things the hard way. And I've given her 10X Pro to build out our installation. And she's like, she's like, okay, this is great. I love it. And then the other way is to find a service who can just come and do it for you. Uh, yeah. Because you don't have to do it yourself. Like, sure, the, the tool is easy to do it yourself, but one could argue at a certain point in your business, it's not effective for you to be doing that, even if you can. Like, yes, you can change the tires on your car or you could call roadside assist. Mm-hmm, like, it's a mm-hmm. choice. But at least yeah. you've got the right vehicle for your business and that's the most important thing. And that's really what I want to exactly. share today. We've really covered the difference between the old way and the new way. The new way is 10xpro.io. That's John Lint there from 10xpro.io and he heavily supports the product. You want to ask him about it, get in touch. Yeah. Um, send him an touch. email, contact support. I'll let me know. I'll put you in touch. John is mm-hmm. the guy and that's the platform <laughs> most of my clients are using now and that's a platform we're building out for our next project too. So great to catch up awesome. again, John. Thank you. Thank you.